Coming up on Inside the High School Game, football is back. Highlights from our first Friday night big game of the week, where Covenant made a statement against arch rival Munford. <laughs> Speaking of, a new rivalry on the horizon between charter schools, Mason Mize going head to head for the first time ever. <laughs> Meanwhile, Westwood and Mitchell squared off for that neighborhood title. These highlights plus our feature story of the week. Former Melrose star Cedric Wilson making a successful debut at the helm for the Golden Wildcats. It's all next on the Memphis Sports Zones Inside the High School Game. Inside the high school game begins with a rival game in the Whitehaven Classic, Westwood Mitchell, a battle for neighborhood bragging rights. We ready? We ready for Westwood, man? I used to blow ass a movie today. Cole Nate, what the move? Both coaches getting their pregame instructions for Coach Cole, a special opportunity to face his alma mater. Westwood made me the man that I am today. That's why every good thing that's coming out of Mitchell came from Westwood. Hey, let's get it on, coaches. Hey, it's long overdue. Let's get it out the way. This one, a battle of good offense versus good defense. Mitchell quarterback Kadeem Sauer ready to make a name for himself after missing last season with an injury. He faced a confident Longhorn defense, and that was a story early on on both sides. Neither team able to move the ball in the first quarter. Fast forward to the second quarter, Mitchell, multiple chances to capitalize. They just couldn't grab the opportunity. The Tiger big play offense blowing chances for big plays. Later in the quarter, the defense would give them another chance. The strip and the fumble recovered by the Tigers, and Adeem Sauer finally put Mitchell on the board on the quarterback sneak. Tigers led 8-0. Still in the second quarter, it didn't take long for the Westwood offense to respond. Very next possession, the slant, and he's gone. Keldrick Moore leaving the Tiger defenders behind. Westwood, their first score of 2019 on a fantastic catch and run for Moore. And that led to more offense, but not from the Longhorns. It was all Tigers the rest of the way. Hadim Sal, his first of three touchdown passes in the game. Mitchell up 14-6, and the Tigers run away in the second half, defeating Westwood in the Whitehaven Classic. 28-6, the final. In the nightcap, the home team did what the home team does. Tigers roll Hamilton with a 50 spot. Meanwhile, over Melrose Stadium, the Phoenix of Mace were flying high early on against Moz. The first ever meeting between charter schools looking to build their own rivalry as they kicked off the season on Thursday night. Mace lost most of his team from last year to graduation, but they made a statement on the opening possession with a nice drive. The long pass followed by the short quarterback sneak. And Mace jumped out to the quick lead. Coach Miller keeping his team calm. Settle down. It's going to come. Don't worry. No worries for Coach Miller when you have this kid, Cam Miller, one of the best two-way players in the city, showing you exactly why as he pulls some magic and disappears from the Phoenix defenders in route to the end zone. <laughs> Mods with a quick answer, and the Lions' den was no place for Mays from that point on. Mods taking exception to the dangerous tackle. Thankfully, the young man will be okay. Later, perhaps some payback. Landon Wright doing the Mace defense wrong. Somebody get the license tag of that truck. Mods fired up, and Wright. Finishes off the drive the right way. Maz the winner, 46 to six. Elsewhere, muddy affair at Halley. Cedric Wilson, his first game as head coach of his alma mater. The Golden Wildcats taking on Overton tie ball game of the half and the conditions of factor. Melrose fortunate to get the ball back, but they just kept on bringing a good old fashioned ground and pound, running it on every single play, busting down the field. 
further into Overton territory. And they were far from done. Run a game on point, making a splash in the third quarter. Go the Wildcats on the march, and Antrail Kendrick brings it home, finding the end zone from 11 yards out. Melrose took a 12-6 lead. Overton and Coach Williams, some things to talk about. I'm about to stack behind the back. They can't get off on you like that. So you just run off field. Two yards to squeeze. To the fourth quarter where the Overton defense played better, but it was a Melrose D who put the squeeze on the Wolverine offense. Number 21, Deion Hodge is the interception. Huge play for the Golden Wildcats, and that was enough to seal the deal. Cedric Wilson leading his alma mater to victory in his first game as head coach. Yes, sir. It wasn't a perfect element for us, but great football night. Great football night. Man. This is what it's all about. Oh, yeah, you got that, man. Come on, let we got the perfect 33 guys. Ain't yes, nobody sir. playing both ways and things of that nature. Guys, you guys, if you guys want to play, you better start playing like you want to play for Melrose. Let's yes, go. Sacrifice, you got to sacrifice your body. All about that wild okay? pride. If you don't want to sacrifice your body, I suggest you not come back. Because Golden this is a game of football. We cannot have any fear. Boy, 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 it was a tough one. It was a tough one. You know, the elements, the elements wasn't perfect for us, but we got to we got to win, uh, and we played a great Overton team. I tapped, put my, tapped my hat off to Coach Williams and his ball club, and I, I, I know he's going to do great things, and we're just going to continue to get better, better, better. A lot of these guys has never played the game of football before, and, but they, they're just giving us everything they have. Well, you know what? I haven't had a win in two years, so, yes, this is very emotional for me. Uh, I'm at my alma mater, and we, we, we're, we're doing great things. We're just trying to strive forward and do right, and, and ho hopefully we can get some of these kids to further their education through the game. Football. Let's, go. Let's move the inside the high school game train to a Friday official kickoff to high school football in the area. Our fan vote for the big game of the week sent us to Mumford, where it was rival night between the Cougars and the visiting Chargers. <laughs> coming and coming out back to back state championship appearances led by me running game, and it hasn't changed. Marcus Hayes on the game's opening drive gone. Seventy-one yards on the scamper, and that was an indication of how the night would go for Mumford. It was all Chargers scoring at will in the first half. Jalen Fain had a big night, the first of his two first-half touchdowns. This one gave the Chargers a 13-0 lead in the first quarter. In the second, they made it more. Carson Ruffin calling his own number, and the new number on the scoreboard was 20-0 Chargers. Later, Mumford tried to get something going in the bag of tricks. That was good enough for positive yardage, but Covington would have no more. The defense stepping up and stuffing the Cougar running game all night. That gave it back to the Charger offense, and it gave Jalen Fain another chance to cash in, and he does just that. This game was over before halftime. Covington making plays on both sides of the ball. This one, fortunately for the Cougars, was called back for a flag. But it didn't matter. Marcus Hayes made it 35-0 on his second touchdown run of the half. And that was the final score. Chargers 35, Cougars 0. More inside the high school game coming up.